Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to take a take a look inside uh, the uh, 65 uh, Squad Vietnam game uh, solo uh, expansion, Alone in the Jungle. Uh, it's really kind of an unbagging. So it comes in a bag. So we'll take a look quickly at what you get inside the solo expansion. I'm not sure how this is uh, marketed on the uh, Flying Pig website. I know it was a Kickstarter uh, stretch goal. And hopefully it's one they're going to sell pretty easily. I know that was one of the complaints with the uh, sibling game uh, Night of Man is that it was very, very costly to just get the solo expansion. So it looks like this is packaged separately now. And hopefully they've they've learned from that. So you get a rule book, uh, obviously with the scenarios, I'm sure. It is a 24-page, yeah, 24-page rule book um, explaining how the solitaire system works. Uh, again, just like the base game, the rule book has no watermarking on the back, so it's very easy to read. Uh, and this will actually um, extend the rule book because it starts in section 22. So the rule book uh, for the base game would end at 21, and then 22 would start off. So you can always refer to rule sections um, in a uniform manner. So this will explain the mystery markers. It's basically, I assume, roughly the same system as. Um, the Night of Man solo, except you're now fighting against the Vietnamese and not the aliens. Um, comes with, let's see, oh, scenario one, Rescue Rambo. How fitting is that? Um, how many scenarios do we have here? We have, don't want to give anything away, there are six solo scenarios. Um, it's anything again like Night of Man, a lot of, a lot of variability in terms of um, uh, which units are going to activate, which units are going to uh, attack, so on and so forth. So you can replay the scenarios over and over again. Um, pretty cool. So full color, shows you how to set up the boards. Uh, again, the geomorphic geomorphic boards come in handy for this. Um, let's see. The base game comes with one, two, and three boards. Um, so this is using one and three. This is using one and two, so it looks like it's expansion for the base game only. Uh, one and two. One. Yeah, so it looks like it's not requiring any expansion boards. Uh, in fact, the last scenario here has three, two, and one, so it has, it's all only using the base game, so it's good. All right, so you get the rule book, which is also the cover, and you get here a, another plasticky bag, Oops, counter sheet, so one, yeah, one counter sheet, so we've got some special uh, terrain modifier hexes, again, the this has shifted from uh, grid in Night of Man to hex-based, which I actually like, um, these are your uh, identity markers, your mystery markers that tell you uh, what a unit is. So when you draw the cards, it'll say activate the green circles or you'll activate green or you'll activate circles. Uh, this tells you when it's revealed. So they'll start out, um, they'll start out on the board um, and move in a kind of a generic fashion or a scenario described fashion until they're revealed and then you'll draw the unit that it becomes and then you'll put this on top of it to show that it's revealed and then that unit will act based on that unit. So, uh, great counters. Uh, I like that they reduce the size. Um, actually, these uh, mystery markers in Night of Man had two sizes, had big ones and had very tiny ones. So I like that they've kind of standardized on a, on a decent uh, on a decent size here, about one inch square. And then the heart of the game, or the solo mode, is the activation cards. Take a look at those real quick. Yeah, let's see what it's. So these, you draw a card. For example, it'll say you're activating first a black triangle or a red circle. And you'll follow the rules, and the, the rules obviously explain it all a little bit better than me, but that's how they correspond with these markers. So you'll randomly assign these markers at the start of the game, and then use these cards, and it'll, based on the stance, which is dictated in the... Uh, 
in this scenario. Offensive, skirmish, or defensive is what they're going to do. Tells you the target, the result, move. Uh, the result only matters if if they're not revealed yet. Otherwise, if they're revealed, they'll follow their what they're supposed to do based on their unit type. So anyway, that is what you're going to get. You get a sheet of extra counters, including the mystery markers, uh, some terrains, uh, markers, or uh, terrain overlays, which uh, are, you know, are scenario based. Get some sticky plastic bags there. You get the deck of cards, probably about 27, I believe it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Hey, I guessed it right. And you get the rule book and scenario book. And that is what is in the solo expansion for 65 from Flying Pig Games. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.